What's up guys, Epic Reptiles here. I haven't done a Tegu update in a while. Let's check it out. So these are the Hype Blacks from Rose City Reptiles. Haven't done an update on these guys in a while. They've been out for like a good, the whole summer basically. Look how much bigger he got. He's feisty too, so that's why I got my gloves on. It's amazing. It's almost completely black. We might get darker than this happy with this project so anybody looking for any like high black tables go to Rose City Reptiles so this is the female high black her face is really dark I think I think darker than the male so she's still small on the small side but um so far she looks pretty dark so I'm pretty happy with this project like I said and these guys been outside all summer long so they're gonna be a little more feisty, more active outside. Um, it's almost time to put these guys back inside and hope they breed next year. So there you go, high black female. <clears throat> so this is one of my favorite females. This is a high white red female and she has been out here all summer. She looked like she gained triple the size out here. So I hope I could breed these guys next season. I'm only working with certain projects. So they look huge right now. She almost looked like the like big red almost, right? This is my big boy, big red. So far right now, me and him is not happy because when he's outside, he's an asshole. But it's nice and big. So I hope these guys don't have a bad season like this season. I could not even put them together. But this is a big male right here. This is a high white red male. So he's huge. Tail is regenerated. So big boy right here. Too. Okay. What's up guys, so this is the project from Tropical Reptiles. This is the Het Ruby Red Male. So I have the female somewhere else, but so far this boy is nice and big and hope next season he could be ready. But the colors he has, it's amazing. He's strong as shit, but um, he's a big boy. His cage right now. And this is a black and white female from Underground Reptiles. She tried to breed a couple of times, but it wasn't successful. But she's pretty dark in the face. Beautiful colors. So, big girl. That's about it so far. I got some tegus inside. Show you guys next. So this is a black and white Argentine female. I'm gonna show you the last bit of tegus I have down here in the basement indoors right now. <clears throat> so we're looking at a marshmallow albino male. Um, he's amazing looking. Uh, he's from Tropical Reptiles. Um, he has a lot of orange on the side coming in, on the back basically. And then he has some under the chin. I definitely got to cut his nails. So right here, if you look at it, there's a, a lot of orange. And he's still growing. He eats like a champ. And so far, that's it. It has a lot of black on the side, a lot of rich colors coming in. Uh, this season, he decided to stay in. He wasn't too happy outdoors. So maybe next season. So, big boy right here. So this project right here are high white blues from Opal Dragon. So these are the marshmallow line. 
so right now they're not looking like much but they're showing a big difference from when they were smaller you see the blue is coming in they, they still got a little bit of green brown got the bur burnt nose got, got the little teardrop happening right now and i can't wait for these guys i can't wait for the male to look like the father so can't wait for this project to really start picking up you know these guys are gonna look amazing when they get get bigger and that's it working with certain projects they're doing amazing right now so this is the female high white blue so i had these guys together but it did not work out the male decided to eat her tail so she's growing her back nicely um, so these guys are in two different uh, cages right now so she's doing her own thing she's looking nice looking nice and big eating thriving so far she's doing great so, can't, I, I, I love this project right now